Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, a while back, I mean, just a few days ago, actually, I did talk about how I was trying to change up my audio setup. I do smaller updates in the community post or slash tab, whatever you want to call it, right? So I did mention about looking into a different mic setup. Now, if you guys remember from several videos, like whenever, I did... Was a, there was a period when I was using a freestanding mic as opposed to the headset with the attached mic, right? So, I stopped using it because the one I was using was a condenser mic called a snowball mic. It was attached to an arm, right? The problem was it would it would keep, it kept picking up background noise, you know, like the clicking and quacking of the controller. Considering I'm more of a console gamer, it was sort of irritating in my mind and distracting. That's why I stopped using the snowball mic, right? So... I started thinking, like, is there a different type of mic I could possibly use that wouldn't have the back, pick up a lot of background stuff? So I did some searching here and there because, you know, it's not easy because I'm not feeling well, right? But apparently the, a dynamic mic is a lot better because it doesn't pick up the background stuff as much, right? The only downside from what I could tell from my searches between dynamic and condenser is that dynamic mic has to be closer to your mouth, right, if you're going to use it. So, the condenser is more like to, I don't know how, like what I looked up exactly, but I bought this thing. It wasn't that expensive, it was like $50 off Amazon. I had to wait for it to get delivered. But yeah, I did configure it a little bit, and I'm doing what I can, considering I'm very tired, right? But it's not that big of a distance between myself and the mouth, right? It is sort of awkwardly set up, because it is on a arm, and the arm has to be on the table. So, maybe I'll try configuring it here and there, some placements, some sound volume levels but i don't know i think it looks it sounds pretty good at the moment as for if when i'm playing something you know if a controller if you're gonna uh, pick up the clicking and quacking we'll have to wait and see but i figure for this update video i might as well just try it out see how it sounds and yeah it sounds pretty clear if it's gonna be more convenient than the hyper x headset i've been using for so many years that's yet to be seen but i figure i always try it out for this update video right so the big thing I want to talk about aside from that is we did cross, a, or I crossed a milestone because I'm not really doing this myself, right? I'm only doing this myself. So we crossed 700 subscribers, right? So first off, I want to say I'm very thankful for that. You know, because a lot of people do work very hard this type of thing. Not so much gaming, but any category, right? They work very hard in these types of things. And I see a lot of people don't get, like, recognition for this, even if they do a lot of good work, right? So, yeah, I've been doing this for many years, and just the fact that anyone would subscribe, in my mind, whether it was 701 of you, is very touching, right? So I want to thank you all for that. It's been a very long, arduous journey, because i have not just that I don't like doing these things, but it's very exhausting lately because I'm not feeling very well physically, right? So to cross that 700 milestone feels very rewarding and I'm very appreciative of that. So let's get out of the way first. Thank you very much. Now, some other things did sort of develop. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but around June 20th-ish of this year, they did change the, uh, was it, the, the monetization stuff to some extent, right? They lowered the threshold from... 1,000 to 500, and the watch hours from 4,000 to 3,000. Now, this doesn't let you run ads, but what I could tell, it gives you like a sort of semi way to monetize, which I sort of was wondering, like, when are they going to implement this? And going through various sources online, news sources, whatever, apparently it's just like, oh yeah, we're rolling it out periodically. You will get it eventually if you're in the countries that we are rolling it out to, right? Well, it was here yesterday, to, or the day before that, that my monetization things were changed, right? So yes, apparently I am in the lower partner tier, by the way, which doesn't really affect me that much as far as I can tell. So yeah, going through it, I get the chat and email support, I get the copyright match tool, and I could also do certain things, right? I could do the memberships and the supers, right? I just want to be clear, guys, I never started this to make money, right? I That was never my thing to start this, even though when I did start, you could run ads as long well as you got approved for AdSense. This was never about money, I want to be clear about that. It was just more just to do a fun hobby, which, by the way, has helped me a lot of my emotional issues over the years, so... It's like a win-win, sort of. I'm keeping busy, I'm feeling better about this stuff, and hopefully by doing these things, I am sort of providing some sort of entertainment aspect, you know, which people have said, they commented that the my stuff does help them, right? So I'm very appreciative of that as well, right? So the membership, for what I could tell, I'm not going to probably do either of these two things, the memberships or the supers, at least yet, 
Because we can tell a membership is a monthly thing. I don't want to charge people for anything. And the super is sort of like a donation sort of thing. Like, yeah, you'll donate money and get a sticker or something. I'm probably not going to engage in either of these things. But like I said, even though it is available now, it was never my intent to really profit off of this stuff. Especially if I have to do a monthly thing or like a donation thing. So I just want to be a, let you guys know, yeah, I'm not going to set this up at the moment. It is available, but probably not going to engage with it, right? As for the running ads thing, I'm still... It's still the regular threshold. I need 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time, right? Now, to be clear, yes, I've gotten this 4,000 hours of watch time for several years already. I think it was like the first third of 2020. Like, January, February, March of 2020, I start... I crossed that 4,000 threshold, right? And I've held on to it ever since. But that again, it's not about money. I want to be clear about that. I would like to reach more people, sure... I would do like to reach more people and possibly help them out, help myself out, grow an audience, right? There's a whole point you should get into content creation as a hobby, right? Not the profit off of it. So I just wanted to let you guys know, yeah, I'm very appreciative of everyone subbing over the years, people staying with me over the years. It's not easy to grow an audience, remember. Because even though I've been doing this for a very long time, made over 3,500 videos in that time frame, I do question about the quality concerns. I look back on the older stuff, I feel it could have been a lot better. Not just from a commentary, entertainment perspective, but tactical-wise, you know? Some other things I could feel I wish I could have done better. Some of the emotion, more emotional games I played, I wish, like, yeah, why was I taking that more seriously? It's always a learning experience, you know? But... I see so many people are using this service now, not just for gaming, mind you, but as a creator doing whatever you want to do, whether it be a cooking tutorial, like a discussion thing, a movie reaction. There's always you're still vying for the same audience, right? Whoever uses this service is gonna be subscribe like eligible to subscribe or whatever, right? So it is a very hard thing to grow an audience. I'm not denying that. So I'm very happy I was able to attract some attention at least. Any attention, for that matter, is very appreciative, right? Because how many people actually make content on this service, right? Considering it's a worldwide thing, I can only imagine. You know, I can really only imagine. So, I'm very glad that I was able to reach some people, and I hope to continue doing this stuff and continue, and continue receiving your support, right? Another thing I want to go over is that for a while I was doing my recordings in 4K, my software, right? It's OBS Studio. Basically, from what I could tell, it wasn't actually true 4K. I just changed the resolution from the settings, right? And I can't switch between 4K and 1080p. I'm not really noticing any difference, at least from what I could tell. And plus, doing the 4K stuff strains my CPU and inflates the size of the file, right? So I'm going to go back to 1080p. I actually have been doing that in more recent stuff I've been doing. So it's not going to be 4K anymore with the higher preset resolution it's just going to be 1080p which again at least from my perspective doesn't look much different because the way i was recording 4k but in case you're wondering why the option isn't available anymore it's because i'm not doing it in 4k anymore right and plus if i am going to do more of the heavily edited stuff like the scary movie thing i really want to share with all of you but i can't because it's been blocked by copyright it would be a lot more easier to manage and edit if they were not 1080p as opposed to 4K, you know? It doesn't even look that much better. The files I ripped, you know, upscaling to 4K, it looks no different in my mind. And this way, if they're smaller file size, then yeah, I could edit them a lot more easier. As for that file in particular, I did share about the house been blocked by copyright, right? I, I think it was like, that was a bust video I did. I'm still waiting for it to clear. I don't imagine they're going to actually respond to the claim and uphold it. I mean, it's a big movie company. Plus, I have no intent to profit off of that anyway. Because I'm not disputing any of the other claims on that. We're saying, like, yeah, we're, you're using our material, but we're going to let you use it. You just can't profit off of it, right? The only thing keeping the video blocked, there's two segments from Scream and Scary Movie. Which should expire maybe like 17 days from now. So, look forward to that, right? As for other stuff like that, I mean, it's hard for me to really judge it and show it in a way that we're about spoiling anything, it's considering it's not publicly available, right? If I am going to continue doing other things like that, side projects, mind you, I don't intend on doing this as like a regular thing, right? I'm probably going to tone down the scale of it. Because I point out that the length of that video, which I spent over 70 hours on, it's like two and a half hours. I feel for something going over like the references for one movie scary movie one for instance i do feel i drew it out too far and 
No, I did go off track. I did some other stuff, which I... If I am going to continue something like this, I had to figure out a way so it's not blocked by copyright. I did get some suggestions about maybe changing the ratio, you know, like the, the, the cropping of the stuff. Maybe that will help with copyright. Maybe if I... But yes. Go, Mom. Jeez, oh, can never catch a break here. Maybe if I put, like, the poster of the movie and crop the footage next to it, that might help with copyright. I don't know. Because I watch a lot of mo people reacting to movies lately as something I've gotten into. People have different ways of doing it. They put some text overlays or they sometimes flip the... F Sorry. Uh, they flip the footage, like, 180 degrees so it's reversed. Or they alter the audio, like, make them... When they speak to actors or actresses, they sometimes, like, digitally alter it. I don't know. There is, like, a foolproof way to do this or not. I don't know. I never did a reaction to anything as far as movies or television. And considering what these people have to go through to make it even sustainable, I'm probably not going to do that. <clears throat> right? Because you have to do all these fancy edits. You got to do other things. You got to cut stuff out to make it more viable. I don't want to do something like that. Rely on Patreon. Hey, subscribe to Patreon. You get the full unedited reaction, which is pretty much what every movie reactor does. I don't want to do that. Everyone's going to do movie reactions. I just upload the whole thing and not care about the money, right? But it's not clear-cut as that. Plus, people usually rely on the edits, like going from full webcam to partial webcam to get their commentary in. If I don't do any fancy edits like that anyway, I'm not going to be able to get my thoughts in before the character characters on whatever I'm watching start speaking again, right? So it seems like a not like an easy thing for me to do, right? So I just want to uh, let you guys know, yeah, I'm happy about... Crossing 700, I hope to keep growing, keep doing stuff. It's just not easy, like I keep saying, because I'm not doing physically well at the moment. Which, I've been a very physically unsick person for a long time, by the way. It's why I'm disabled, it's why I don't work, it's why I've been able to pu push out 3,500 videos in just a few years, right? I don't work. I just stay in the house all day. I only leave the house to run errands or see a doctor. Maybe I see my sister on the weekends, because, you know... She was about 10 minutes away from me. But outside from that, I don't really do much with my life. So that's why doing these sort of content creation really helps a lot. Keeps me busy, uh, keeps me busy, keeps me engaged. Makes me feel like I'm doing something that could possibly entertain people, help them through their problems, which again, people have said that my content does help them through these periods, which I'm also very pleased to hear about that, right? It's just not easy because, you know, not just doing things when I'm tired, because it took me several days to feel well enough to configure this mic after getting it, and actually sit in front of this chair, in the chair, and actually make this video. It just took several days for me to muster up enough energy to do that, right? It's just not easy because of my physical stuff right now. Also, the emotional stuff, you know, the family stuff, but I'm not going to go into that again. I talked about that repeatedly, right? So, as far as plans for the channel go, is going forward, I'm sort of, I'm not sure yet, because... I do want to keep two game series going at a time, but no more than two, because it does get a bit overwhelming, especially if I'm doing, like, open-world stuff, because that takes a lot longer, obviously, compared to, like, a linear campaign sort of thing. So, we are working on Dying Light 2, uh, what was it, the, the Bloody Ties DLC. We're going, making good progress with that. I'm almost done with it. After that, the series is going to go on hold, because there's no more, nothing else for me to cover till next year. Whenever they do launch that DLC, and for all we know, that could get delayed too. I have no idea. Now, Goodbye Volcano High, I've mentioned this before. It's only about four or five hours long. I think I did like four and a half, uh, whatever amount of time it is. Five, six videos? I can't even remember, right? So that should be done pretty soon as well. I am really liking that, by the way. It does feel good to do like a narrative story-driven thing, aside from just shooting everything, uh, every character in sight, right? After that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I don't want to engage in too many things that are too long, right? Not that I don't like long games, it's that they take a lot more longer to cover, right? One thing I did want to cover, though, I just don't have, really have time to do it now, is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Because it's sort of weird with Mass Effect. I played the first game, the 360 version, for like 30 minutes back when it came out, and I never finished it. I just never went back to it, right? And I never played 2, I never played 3, I don't really know what happens in the story, aside from some bits and pieces, right? 
The thing is, though, something like the Mass Effect Legendary thing, it'll take, like, over 100 videos to cover, right? I know it's not open world, per se, but the amount of stuff you could do, like the side stuff, which I'd want to include... Yeah, I also have to make the videos incredibly long, maybe like an hour each to be even fit, like, the 100, like, video thing. I don't know. It's something I do want to cover, because I, I, everyone says that game is great, right? I would like to see myself play it blind, because I've only played the first 30 minutes of the first game, right? So I would like to see, because your decisions apparently do matter in that. Something you do in the first game could have an effect in the third game. I mean, maybe I would take it a little slower, Depending if I like the game or not, which I'm sure I would, right? But, uh, I will see. It's something I want to do, but I don't know if I want to devote that much time to it. And if I do devote the time to start playing it, would I do it engagingly? Because most people don't want to see that. Then spending a ton of time on something people don't want to see, you know? It's always a give and take sort of thing. Do I do what I want to do, or do I do what the people want, what viewers want me to cover? It's, it's always a balancing act. I keep saying that, right? Okay, so as far as other things I want to cover, eh, I am thinking about doing Saints Row 1, because that was requested when I brought up that I did one video on that a while back as a Let's Play, but I never followed through with it. So that shouldn't take that long. I, I never play, beat the first game. I played a little bit here and there. I just messed around, never beat it. Same thing with the second one. I played a bit of that, never beat it. Never played the third, fourth, or Get Out of Hell, or the new reboot, which I heard was terrible, right? we we'll see what's going on with that. As for other things, maybe, like, I could do, like, one open world long or long-ish thing alongside a shorter thing. I'm still trying to figure out what I could throw in there at the moment, because, again, Goodbye Volcano High is almost done, right? The problem is, when you're thinking, like, is this, in this perspective, like, what do I want to play? There's so many things to play now. Jeez, back in the day, you know, when we had, like, the fourth gen, the fifth gen, everything came on physical, and you had the, yeah, yeah, there was no digital, there was no indie company pumping out stuff all the time. So you're very limited what you could buy, right? And you weren't distracted by all of the different things, even though there were more systems back then too. But nowadays, like, any, every, stuff comes out all the bloody time. Like, every week, stuff comes out. And you just get overwhelmed. Like, do I... Like, 50 things come out in, like, a month now. What do you choose from? In addition to the t tens of thousands of things that are already out. It's just so hard to keep track of anything nowadays, right? At least with movies, when you think about it, yeah, movie like a Hollywood movie will come out like every Friday, a few things, but even that's keep hard to keep track of. I can only imagine how more difficult it is for the movie reactors saying, oh, hey, could you watch this Tarantino flick? Could you watch this Christopher Nolan flick? Could you watch this Scorsese flick? And you just have to choose, but it's crazy, right? I sort of feel baffled in the same way of what they cover with gaming, you know? All right, so anything else I have to think? Again, these discussion videos are never scripted, by the way, so I always got to think on the fly what to do. I was sort of thinking about maybe, I don't know. I did notice some other thing. I have tried to experiment with some editing stuff, which, again, I can't really go into the scary movie what I've learned through the scary movie video editing process because it's not public yet. I'm always trying to experiment with thumbnails, right? So, the, yeah, okay. You guys remember I did this thumbnail for Pac-Man 2, um, 2, The New Adventures, number 1, right? This is what it is now. Can I make this full screen? Right. So, I do want to create uh, good thumbnails, right? It was never about just making cheap thumbnails. So, I've obviously learned a lot since I started out, because in the beginning, I'll just use a random screen cap from a video and just type in, like, uh, The Walking Dead, Season 1, Part 1. That's all I would do with a thumbnail. So I did learn a lot of stuff since. So, in regards to something like this, yeah, it's not that hard to create, but I do feel it's a lot more impressive than stuff I was doing before, right? Because I was thinking, okay, so... I could have just used this image of Pac-Man, you know, getting the milk, right? That's what he does in that first video I covered. I could have just put the logo and put the number there and called it a day, right? This is a, like a full 16 by 9 shot of the scene where he gets the milk, right? So I figured, let's do something a bit more broader. Let's get the stock image of a farm, right? We got a 3D image of Pac-Man just standing, which is not related to the 2D thing, right? And we'll just Photoshop this thing of milk right here. I do feel these things look better, of course. They obviously looks better than I just took this logo and this number and stuck it on this, right? So I'm always trying to find ways to look more impressive, you know, give... Uh, look better, you know, present myself better. And obviously, yes, I do feel over the years I have improved in that a lot. As for what I could do with sort of thumbnail design, it's hard to say, because I don't want to do clickbait thumbnails, right? That's something I never want to do. 
Can I get down with this? Yeah, exit full screen. Thank you. Something I never want to do, right? Because I see so many people who use webcams in their footage and they do like the Kevin McAllister, Home Alone sort of thing. OMFG face to attract attention. And the thing is, a lot of times when I click on those thumbnails, their behavior in the video is not nearly as representative as that. So that's why I don't do that sort of thing, even though I use a webcam on my gaming stuff. As for doing something more like grounded, more basic, but still looks nice, yeah, I feel that Pac-Man 2 thing does fit the bill quite well. Which I've always tried to experiment with different designs, right? That's the thing, dude. Do you think something like the Pac-Man 2 thing attracts more attention? I don't know, because that was one of the most obscure games I played on the channel, right? And yet, it's one of the... It got over 200 views. Which is sort of weird, because... Are people actively looking for the people to cover that game? Let's Players? I have no idea. Because looking at the other Let's Players already posted, yeah, like, barely anyone's covered that game. And I covered the Wii U version, the digital version, before they shut that... Before Nintendo shut that down, bastards, right? <laughs> so I was able to get that at least. I have some other Wii U stuff which I showcased at the end of that Pac Man 2 video I could cover. It's always just a hard thing to choose what to cover, right? Trust me, there are a lot of things I do want to cover. I just haven't gotten to them yet. Like, there's something called Soma, it's like a Bioshock sort of theme thing. But the gameplay is like Outlast, from what I understand. You just run from enemies, you don't actually fight them. But it has a good story as well. I always wanted to check that out. Some other things, too. But, uh, I don't know. It's always just like a struggle to figure out what to play, right? But if anything, I would be active more so that I'm not feeling well, which really sucks, I know. As for what I could do about feeling better, not much, really. It is a physical thing, but for why it's happening, I have no goddamn idea. I tried using caffeine, no G Fuel, energy drinks to keep myself focused and awake. It only does so much. Probably I'm just not sleeping well was the bigger thing. I could deal with the stress, the family issues, if i escaping by doing this sort of thing. But the problem is that I just don't feel alert enough to actually sit down in the chair and do something. That's the biggest obstacle for me. I try to do what I can, but at best I get three to four hours of sleep each night. It's not easy, you know? But lo and behold, TLDR, whatever that acronym is, I am happy I got... I'm still... Uh, yeah. I'm happy I'm continuing to garner support. And I crossed the 700 sub gap a few days ago, but I wasn't able to make a video to talk about it. I am trying to experiment with ideas. I want to stay active. Maybe do some more side projects, you know, not on the same scale or as much devotion as a scary movie one thing, but we'll see about that, right? I'm still trying to figure out what to play, you know, present myself better. I'm not recording in 4K anymore. I try to spare much more thumbnail stuff, so we'll see what happens, right? I do like to keep everyone informed. That's why I make these updates slash discussion videos. You know, I do like to keep people informed because I'm not sure everyone looks at the community posts, right? But at least if I make a video, it's more in-depth, it's more thorough, it's more personal. So I'm very happy about that. I'm just glad I'm able to keep doing this, even though it is a struggle, right? I do rehash the same thoughts over and over in these videos. Again, they're not scripted, right? So I'm going to try to experiment more with this mic setup. I won't know how it sounds till I'm done recording this video, right? So we'll see. I'm not sure if holding a chore like this is going to be picked up by this mic or not. I'm going to have to experiment with positions and stuff. But anyway, thanks for listening, guys. I'll get, try to get back some more stuff when I can. Actually, I don't want to push myself too far because if I force myself to make a video and I'm not feeling well, it's going to be reflecting my behavior, right? I've seen that a lot in some other things I've done where I'm not enjoying myself, and I just get frustrated, and it's not fun to watch. So I don't want to force myself to do something like that if I'm not up to it. But hey, you know, I'm staying active, trying to keep busy. And thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.